gorgeous roses and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be filming another top five favorites and this week i'm going to do my top five palette favorites because those are one of the things i seem to haul the most so i've got my top five unfortunately like the last video these aren't drugstore i think possibly two are the rest are high end so i am sorry about that but i I do think it's worth spending that little bit more on a eyeshadow palette because they're gonna last a long time and you want them to be sort of nice quality. Don't get me wrong, there's some really, really nice drugstore brands, but personally for me, I like to spend that little bit more and splurge. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order with these, I'm just gonna pick them up. If you wanna see my top five palettes, then just keep watching. Also, just one quick note before I get into the video. I'm currently holding a giveaway where one lucky winner can win three of my top favorite makeup products if you want to go and enter that um, I'll leave all the links below to it my first palette that I'm going to talk to you about is this palette here and it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics I've spoken about this on my channel before I don't know what it is about this palette I just I love it the compact size the the feel of the actual product it's got like that rubbery texture and I just love the packaging it's just Oh, I just, I love it. Um, it's easy to throw in your bag or if you're going away, it comes with a little mirror and then you get you get six shades and they are really, really my shades. They are all mattes apart from one, which is sort of a shimmery highlighter. And I really like the Naked 2 shade because that is the one that I use as my transitional shade. And I always go back to this palette for that one shade. I literally can't get enough of it. It's so versatile, you can use this for your eyebrows. You can use this for smoking out the lash line. You can use this for doing sort of eyeliner. Actually, mine's really, really grubby. It's just the perfect size just to take with you and do little touch-ups and things. And I really like using sometimes this yellow one. So underneath my eyes, I used to use it for that. But it's a really, really versatile palette, so I like that one. Might as well stick with the Urban Decay theme. The next palette that I absolutely adore is the Naked 2. I'm not really a big fan of the packaging. Um, I do prefer the Naked palette, the first one. Um, I have seen it in store, it's kind of like, it's a lot thinner. Whereas this one, it's sort of tin. Um, but where I've dropped it, it has got a massive dent in it. And it just, this one just feels really cheap. I don't know, there's something about this I don't really like. And you get a double-ended brush as well. Um, but yeah, the shades in here are gorgeous. I'm not very bold with my eye looks. I like to stay neutral and just sort of smoke out a tiny bit. So I love this palette. This one's a bit different. It's got quite a few glittery, shimmery shades in it, which I actually really like. The texture of the actual shadows themselves are really best. They blend really nicely um, and I love them to pieces. So that's the Naked 2 palette. Next up, I'm going to the drugstore um, and I've talked about this um, quite a few times on my channel actually. And it's from the brand Makeup Revolution. And this is the Ultra 32 shaded eyeshadow palette. And this is the one in Flawless. I really love the packaging of these, really sleek black. It's quite weighty, which makes it feel really luxurious. Um, especially for a drugstore, it's awesome. The actual branding on it's not that great because it does rub off. I've had this for a while. And what I love is it's got a massive, massive mirror. Um, there, I'm not going to blind you with that. But because you've got loads of shimmers, you've got some mattes in there. And again, it's all quite neutral, but for me, it's got sort of bluey tones, you've got some coppers, you've got some silvery tones in there, um, more neutrals this side, you've got some burgundy, some browns, green there. So for me this is quite versatile and a good palette in the sense it's got quite a range of colours and especially for a starter, I think this is only about £8 but it's such a good palette to get started. You can do, as I said, you can do so many different looks with this. The only one downside I do find is this row here in the center, they are very glittery and they look gorgeous on the eye. The only thing is they crumble a lot and you do tend to get a lot of fallout. But I think for the price, you, you can't, I don't think you can complain. I mean, you, you can work with it. I've not had too much of an issue. Um, I would suggest doing your eyes first and then doing the rest of your face if you are gonna go for that sort of more glamorous um, glittery look. But other than that, this is a really great palette. Next up is a palette from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. If you don't know, this is an Irish brand, I believe. I basically heard the makeup chair here on YouTube talking about these, but she raves about them all the time. So I thought I'd check them out. This is just what it looks like. It doesn't come with a mirror, unfortunately. You get six big pans. Got like a pinky tone here, you've got some really dark, 
bronzery type shades, contoury shades, and you've got like a banana shade and then a really bright white. I do like this. It was fairly cheap. So again, I think it's probably sort of drugstore type prices. I'll link everything in the down box um, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. They can be a tiny bit chalky. I can work with it. I really like this for using this sort of one for setting under the eyes. And then this one I really like for chiseling out and contouring because it's that sort of cool toned grey brown it's really really good for that so that's why i like this palette but i do find myself actually reaching for this more than i thought i would and the last one i'm sort of going to include because it is a palette but it's not this is my z palette and i've got in here um four makeup geek eyeshadows i've really been wanting to get some so i just took the splurge and i bought them um they're only five is it five dollars five dollars each which when the conversion rate actually works out is a really good price so I picked up four. I wanted some more, but the ones I wanted, um, they'd actually sold out of. If you wanted to know, I've got Frappe, Mocha, Shimmer Shimmer, and Cinderella. And this I can get one whole eye look out of. <laughs> so I've got uh, my transition shade here. Um, I've got sort of to smoke out the crease, make it a little bit darker if I want to. Um, I tend to put this one in the centre of the lid just to brighten it up a bit and the inner corners. And this I just put on the outer third and it makes a really, really nice eye look. Um, but I absolutely love these shades. I'm definitely going to build up the collection to make a palette. Um, you can buy larger Z palettes, but I just want to start with something small um, because I thought it's great to put in your bag and take on the go and things rather than trying to carry around with the bigger ones that I'm not necessarily going to feel for a while. If I do end up getting more of these, which I know I will, then I'll buy one of the bigger ones. But these Z palettes are really, really good because even some of the palettes I've just spoke about, if I am going away, I can just depart one pop it in here and I've got it on the go. So I really, really do like this idea of the Z palettes, they're awesome. So those are my top five palettes that I have been absolutely loving. Leave a comment below, just let me know your favorite palette, whether it's eyeshadow or you've got a favorite blush palette. I'd like to see what you guys love and maybe you can give me some recommendations of what I might like. And yeah, so thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and don't forget also to go and enter my giveaway. You could win awesome prizes and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. The one lucky winner will get all three of these. What we have to do is be a subscriber here on my channel.